now let's take care of this total here so I'm gonna close that I'm coming here but the thing is we're going to have to multiply the cost the cost which is right here the constant okay like we have fries I'm gonna get that I'm bringing it down here so multiply that by this okay, that is then stored in here so I'll repeat the same thing for the salad itself which is this one okay so I need all of that I need to put them together before we can start serious work on this so let me just speed that up then now uh, I'll get back to you guys okay check this out guys I've now added all of the constants which are the price to this so the price is multiplied by whatever is inside each of these components okay now that that is taken care of let's come in here and start with an if statement if cmd this payment method dot text equals if it's equals that then let's take it up so that you can say it then I would like this supposing we have a variable here here let's declare a variable maybe somewhere here let's say din cost as decimal and we can say cost equals Let's go for this very first one first just to try it out. Item zero. Cost of item. Cost of item zero. There. Okay. So let's say minus. That should actually be payment method dot text. But in this case, we want this taken away from this. So, yeah. So, which means whatever amount is entered inside the payment method is taken away from this. Then, whatever is left is then entered into LBL change. That will give us the change. Okay, so there we become cost all right so we can just try that out and see what will happen so i'm gonna save it run that and see what's going to happen supposing a customer selects maybe go for five of those and cash let's say cash and debt to the sales assistant is about 67 pounds so if we click on that see that give us that all right so I, I can't remember the cost of the fries but if we look at it I presume that is right let's pull that down and just look at the cost of the fries fries yeah, I think that is right. That's about five pounds fifty p. So that is correct. Okay, that's the change given back to the customer. Okay, now we now need to know the subtotal. Let's come back down in here. Double click on that. We want to find the subtotal. The subtotal will become this. We actually be this so let's say lbl subtotal dot text equals this itself okay now we need the tabs as well lbl tab 
box right here the text equals let's say the subtotal which is uh, let's say this very one here we may have to change this then we're going to have to change that to get it all right okay we have to change this but this is just a trial for now so let's say this multiply by I think it's called I tax or tax rate let's see what did I call it up there it's called there is okay it's called tax rate there's a tax rate there let's make that maybe around three yeah that's a tax rate multiply by that and we then divide it by 100 that should give us the tax that we are paying okay but that's still not going to work supposing we add all of these into tax let's say i tax LDL tax dot tax equals I tax. Equals I tax. Now to get the total LBL BL total dot tax equals I tax plus whatever we have in subtotal but well, subtotal is this which I really don't I'm just using that for, as an example so I'm going to have to declare another one here okay that should be total now I think this one already that is the that is the cost that gives us that then this one let's assign everything we have in here everything we have in here into something else let's say we do have subtotal anyway as a variable i subtotal there equals that so it's i subtotal that we do all of this this become I subtotal I subtotal and I subtotal here there because we, we could still going to add more to this so let's run it and see run it and if we select anything here let's say we go for four fries we want it to be cash and how much are we paying maybe let's let's say we, we actually handed over 20 pounds if we click on that there that is the tax that's the subtotal okay so if you look at this this plus this it was this i think that's about right all right that's good now we're getting somewhere supposing the selection is more than one and that is where all of this comes in in that case this becomes we need to add more so even this subtotal should be here all right so we're gonna move this let's cut it off there paste it right up here and this itself will become subtotal we're taking that off here and the subtotal itself here that will become plus so that is zero it's one two three four five six 
seven. So this is eight, nine, ten. Let's pick that up. Let's run this thing. Let's give that, give that a try. See, we have. Coffee with the six of those and vanilla. Nine of those. We click on. Uh, we need to select something. Suppose then we select cash, and we have about one five zero pounds there. Okay, that's fine. Suppose we have this. That's sh that shows up. In that case, we should clear everything. All of this. Let's come in here. Double click on this. Clear it all. Inside the total, come down here. Okay, E L's message box. Yeah. So if we run it. And let's say we have not selected anything and we click on that you must select a payment method right there if we select payment method okay then the next thing is i think maybe we should move this let's copy this and put it right in here here and here as well right that is the format okay so the payment method box if we run it now let's run this payment method you guys will see what i'm talking about supposing we select that and we, we enter whatever in there click on total there you must select the payment method if we click on ok there that wipes out all of that we may not want to wipe that out and just select our payment method that's one other thing that's another option so in that case we might not need this really maybe i should just get rid of that select a payment method because that was a mistake all right we come in here enter that click you must select the payment method and we now select the payment method or whatever we might want and just click on that okay now this all right here okay we have to delete that in there come in here okay this can always be default we can default this to zero but it doesn't have to be here so let's go back in here when a payment method is selected that should become a zero okay, let's see what do i have in there double click on this If this is clear this and that becomes zero okay so let's go inside total right here inside the total double click on that and this here we can always assign zero to this here so that becomes zero that's it so let's run it again and see what's going to happen. OK. 
okay we're not selecting anything here click on total select the payment method and click on total yeah that's it guys that is working as we want well let me show you guys the code again for the total right here I have all of the arrays the array is used as a storage for the component multiplied by the input component multiplied by the cost of each meal or of each item is then stored inside my array and here this is where all the calculation took place right here I've added each array together inside I subtotal then I subtotal is assigned here which is then assigned here to find out if there's a change to be given or not I subtotal is now assigned into the components of total and tax this is where we check out the tax and that's the tax goes inside the tax component and I tax plus I subtotal make up total and here we use that to convert everything to pound sign and the same thing was done here the only difference here is the change given to the customer is not right in here else this message box will pop up if you do not select any of those payment method that's all there is to it okay guys but there is a minor error here that need to be adjusted you see this very change we have to also add the tax before we can get the right change so what i will do is i'm going to copy all of this i'm just going to cut it off and paste it right in here there then i will then add this so that i can get the right total paste that and that will take care of the change so guys if we run it now okay with the change now in order let's select let's say fries will go for about let's go for 45 of those and we'll come in here cash let's say we give them 60 pounds if you click on that there you do the mathematics that is the change given back to the customer so you add this to the tax and add this to the subtotal that should give you 60 pounds so with that we call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you all enjoyed so you guys have a nice day now and bye for now